welcome RPG Limit Break fans to the Final Fantasy Randomizer for Winter Tournament 2024 Lower Bracket Round 5 match between Odoron and Solaria Rex. My name is Thavian Hawk with me in the booth today and returning from our earlier race this morning, Ozlato handling restreaming and comms as well as our tracker Iker. Ozlato, I'm noticing uh, two party members on these on these racers parties what's going on oh have we got something interesting for you tonight to watch our uh runners have agreed in the race room that they were going to go with a forced melee and their choice of what they would like for their mage so we ended up with a thief in the black belt that thief comes with plus 10 vitality and the wood set will add the evade while our black mage uh comes with Fighter armor and plus 20 hit. Got to admit, kind of shocked they went with the black mage, given that that red mage rolled free exit and legendary swords. But my guess is they're hoping that, uh, while they're banking on better black spells only being available, or being available. Indeed, I, that would be my guess as well. Doing a bit of stream and adjustments, thank you. But it looks like, uh, well, we're going to have to live with the Solario Rex's stream as is. Unfortunately, he does have it stretched to a, uh, to a very different way of doing things. However, it's still viewable. Indeed. We've, we've, I believe we saw in chat he was commenting about how he's had some issues with his emulator being captured in OBS. And it's unfortunate, but at least we've got two runners that we can see on screen one way or the other. We definitely do. gonna look forward to a good race, though. Um, earlier, you commented on the race, and I believe it ended in just under an hour. It did. That was the spells app race. It was quite the little speedy race. It was. Uh, it all came down to uh, to one route divergence, and that might come into play here as well. We'll have to see what our what the seed is going to give us. There's definitely a few more changes that they, the racers agreed on in the race room. Things like uh, shuffled Astos with an unsafe Astos, which means any of the normal hint givers, or sorry, incentive item givers, like the king or the princess, could be Astos well before you potentially have the levels to survive. Not only... It could gate progression. Not only that, he's buffed. So he's going to be a buff cookie tonight. But we will see what comes out of this. There is no uh, no other things that have been set. Once again, I will inform everyone, for those who are just joining us in our winter tournament, this is a 28-count shard hunt. So 28 shards are scattered throughout the land. You need Sorry, there are shards scattered throughout the land. You need 28 to get into the final dungeon. Both carry and Lich are worth 2. Tia Kraken worth 4. We also have our mystery Xbox. We'll... It's not a mystery, we know what it is. It's a Warmech guarding Amasa. As well, all of your fetch quest turn-in items will be either some kind of good item or a tail. And I think we're about ready to start anytime soon. Looks like Solaria Rex checking the black magic. He's the first one on stream in. Uh, finds lit. Nothing special in there. Slow, blind, sleep. Uh, checking armor, sees some chainmail it looked like. Uh, Weapons-wise, Saber plus 5 is totally usable, but a little expensive at the start, it seems. Indeed. We'll try and get everything synced up once uh, Odoron stream comes up. Yes, once we get Odoron up, we'll be... Good to go. Solaria Rex looks like going to take the quick save check on dwarves. Finding potential good we or items would be nice to see. Gets a shard. Turns out to be slices. And the crystal there resets out. Going to get the crystal and that shard later when he probably redives dwarves. Let's see if we can get ourselves all synced up here. There we are. So, we're going to take our first look in... Ooh! Well, how rude. Seems that, uh... Out in the wild, our uh, Mad Pony friends might have had some, uh... Something nasty behind them.
And so far, nothing real major. Slario goes right for Garland. Taking the chance to try and get the clock synced up as well. Make sure everything is smooth for the stream. And there's the kill on Garland. Will we find the bottle? What does the princess have? Is it Astos? It's not Astos. It's the bridge. So that is progression found. Oh, well, you can't have them all. Garland down and odor on side. The bats are, of course... Getting in the way like they always do. That's always fun. Sadly, those are bats that have alternate text options, so we can't delete them with the guillotine. Unfortunately, no. The NPC key only works in one way. Meanwhile, Slario. Looks like he's heading to go see the dwarves. Really wants to get that crystal more than anything, because with the bridge, the crystal is a quick check right over. Gonna yeah. check out Matoya's closet either way, because those chests can contain a lot. And Ooh, that's fun. Momentary slept duck. You always like to see that on, on your early streams, don't you? So, let's pop in. That's, so, there's your crystal. And apparently a slice. So, we're going with pizza for, uh, pizza themed. Meanwhile, Odoron not even bothering to check dwarves. Is not going to have that crystal. Probably, yep, going to check Matoya. Might drop a save here. Yes, indeed. Uh, check what's there, and then come back. Reset out if needed. Yep, yep. Although, previous seeds have shown that Matoya is a gem... Well, there you go. <laughs> Generally a good place to go, because there's our ship. And a nice Thor hammer. You like to see the early stuff, especially... Uh, especially give that thief something to do. Yeah, uh, especially also a backup weapon for his... Uh, lit was the only actual viable magic at level 1 that Thor Hammer could be used by the Black Mage if it runs low on charges. Too true, too true. Interesting, Odoron taking this 4, uh, four monster fight, just gonna try and get a few levels up before facing Vicky. And Meanwhile, ooh, the crystal turns into the power bonk. You like to see that. But I would suspect Odoran will come back for that later. He's, he's not going to fade dwarves. No doubt. Meanwhile, Solario Rex in and out of Matoya's with the power bonk, with the boat, on to check level 2 black magic. What is going to be here? And that is fast and nuke. Okay, you don't like seeing them both on the same level because they're going to be both valuable, but that ninja and that black mage can learn it. Black mage for now, ninja post promotion. That is a huge thing to find. Although, there you go, pirates get nuked. Wow. Let's be fair here. No one thought the pirates were going to make it that far. <laughs> Unless they're buffed too, which unfortunately our runners just decided against. Now the question of, uh, in chat of who rolled this? This is a Danny seed. So, this is not one of mine. I am take no responsibility for this. Popping in the armor shop. Mm, some nice baseball hats. Nothing great, though. A little bit of armor doesn't hurt anything, especially when it's all you got to work with. But meanwhile, Odoron using that Thor hammer to get the kill on the pirates. Clean sweep, level 5 all around. Looking good. Grab your crown. Out you go. Well, as Astos is shuffled, that could be a very easy free check for an incentive item or a piece of gear. Still looking for the ribbon, the opal bracelet, which would be huge to find. Not going to get any value about the Excal, but the Vorpal might be useful. Might be. Come on, it's always useful. It post. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could always be a very effective lawn dart out of the sky. Or out of sky. Oh, that pains me. However, the more important thing that I think that they would want would be the tail at this point, because the sooner you get that uh, promotion, the better. And... They should also be on the lookout for any armor that's wood. I mean, I know that Thief is dodgy right now, but it never hurts to make it more. And we have a look from both Solarix and Alderaan checking out that level 3 black magic, finding Ice 3 and Temper. Yet another good spell that's a sweeper and temper, which 
I mean, yes, Saber's awesome, you can use it on yourself, but Temper lets the Black Mage buff the Knight or, or the Ninja. Mm -hmm, and Saber's mm -hmm. at level 4 along with Lock 2, so you've got Lock and Lock 2, Lit 3, all of these spells are already learnable so far by the post-promotion ninja. Gonna be amazing. Yep, that is a very, very good uh, assortment. But I can tell you what we haven't seen yet, something that does worry me. Warp so far, nowhere to be found. And of course, no white caster, so no exit available. If they've taken the red mage, they could have had exit in the le on the legendary sword option. And with the magic the way it is, it actually would not have been that bad of a pick. But, uh, well, the runners take what the runners want, and they both went with the black mage. And there's the canal out of or, uh, out of marsh top. That is access to the outer ocean. The the attic is providing today. So that makes finding that tail all the more pressing. So I would imagine you will see that crown check very, very soon after they're done with Marsh. It is a very solid proximity play. Of course, if they get something interesting like the canoe or the key, which would be amazing for them early, uh, you see a lot of things they could check coming out of here, but it looks like Solario gonna save, possibly burn off an encounter. And go right in. Question in chat. What is this party? Was this randomized? The party was agreed upon by the runners in the race room to have one forced melee and one uh, caster. That's it. That's all they were. That's all they got. So they ended up with a thief and the black mage apparently is what the, what they wanted to choose. Their options as far as the casters were the red mage with exit and legendary swords. The white mage with uh, protection, ooh, adamant coming out of Marsh Bottom. Gotta love uh, that. Protections, DTE, so death, time, and earth. Earth. And then plus 20 vitality, so make it survivable. But they went with the Black Mage, which has plus fighter armor and plus 20% hit. I mean, if you put a Masta on a Black Fighter, or Black Mage with fighter armor, that, that'd be kind of effective, but... But you have to get the Masa first. <laughs> and in a two-man party, that's just that much more risky. Well, a lot of experience to go around. Meanwhile, those wizards, not being very pleasant, but they're guarding a shard. Do some healing. Get some heal bots to refill the stockpile. You don't want to be caught without. So, we got one more to check in Marsh. And it's another shard. So, we should also note that the more um, more shards you get, the better your XP is. Question in chat, are only items random? Everything is loose. So what that means is that every item in the game, whether that is, with the exception of the tail, is loose in a chest somewhere in the game. You don't know where, but they're out there. So, the, that, yeah, the only one that's not that is, is the tail. Well, the tail is is behind an incentive turn in. All of the turn ins, so the adamant, the bottle, the crystal, herb, TNT, and so on, those have a specific set of items that the racers can get, including the tail, the opal bracelet, mm -hmm. the power bonk, which we've seen out of the crystal. Uh, you have a ruse stick, the. Uh, ribbon, one of the three ribbons is incentivized, the Vorpole, and the Excal. Yeah, that's 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 everything. Um, if anyone hadn't noticed, um, those werewolves have glance. That's and not that good. That puts Oteron back just a little. Yep, it's still very, very early in the seed, and the Great Equalizer still has to come. Indeed we do. Wow, that power bunk is not worth a lot of gold. It is not, but more about what it can do for you. Yes, yeah, Larry picking up that cloth plus five gives something to his black mage, although there were some bracelets that were reasonably affordable and rolled up, I believe, back in Provoca? I believe there was, yes. But then again, we can't see just how much gold Solario Rex has to work with, unfortunately. Unfortunately, due to the uh, due to the way he has his stream set up, I cannot grab that. Do not have the canoe, so Solario getting into the boat does not plan to check the crown this early. 
without the ruby and without the uh, the rod, pretty much you have the crescent check, then you potentially have a early earth, earth dive. Yeah, earth without the rod though it does feel it feels bad. And Slayer is gonna go earth first. I don't blame him on this one. This could be the right routing, but for all we know, the confused sages, which is another thing they agreed on the, when they go to the circle sages, it will, it will not be a circle. Um, that could have progression that would be valuable at this point. True, there are only two NPCs who could... Ooh, well, did you see it? I sure did. Thank you, Danny. There it is. There's your, there's your spiders. And there's the Earth Rod. And that it, is huge or routing working out for Solaria Rex. That is underneath the floor mat. That seems to happen quite a lot in everyone else's seeds, not mine. And that's the Ruby. Well, Melman Continent proving valuable. That's four chests and a Sarda check. Obviously, Sarda not being an incentive turn in is just a, an item pickup at this point. But it he, could be valuable. He can hold something. It's just he usually has nothing. So you're gonna go That's, turn. Definitely go turn in that ruby right now. That's a real easy quick check. Definitely less annoying encounters that could be encountered. All those werewolves kind of could be annoying. Not as bad as the werewolves with glance, though. You don't want to see that. Very true. Odoron doing the exact same thing Solario did, not checking the crown, gonna run back to elves, bring up his party member, heal up, and go. Gonna check dwarves and find that crystal and get the power bond. He will not be sad to see that, although he will potentially kick himself for having not routed here earlier. But he does have the adamant he could turn in while he's here. True, this is something that has not been seen by Solario. Solario faded going back to dwarves just yet. Ooh. That is the ribbon. That is huge. That could actually make a big difference, especially if some of those encounters like he saw in Marsh occur. Hooray. As Odoron makes his way back to the boat, Solario checking the Titan's oh. tunnel finds the floater. But... <laughs> And the loot. There's the a song this time. Interesting. But the floater's great. Mm, but there's no canoe. And I will also say, Hooray Dwarf lives again. I will always advocate for releasing the Hooray Dwarf from his temporally locked hell, but that's my personal headcanon. That is the two things that you can get FFR runners to argue about. The that and carbonating bubbles. That's I don't think that's much of an argument. I was gonna say black belts, but uh, we're gonna get take a look and see what old man Sarda has. Wow, he actually had something today. Wow, not just sixteen dollars or a Werther's. Just a uh, old man with his old slab of stone that evidently he's been sequestering away in his cave. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's... And that will completely blank the Melmond Continent. You don't need to worry about coming back here again, unless you want magic. Yeah. If that nor if the slot three at Black Magic comes up big, then they might come back for it. Although a lot of runners, especially if they're in a the speed and power mode, that has to be something real special for them to go back to it. Because if it's on the second page of Magic, it's out of reason. Well, so far, no one has taken a look at Black Magic yet, so we can't say for sure what's there. I mean, if it, if Temper was there, or Fast was there, you'd take it. But... It could even be Vanilla Warp. In the, in the slot you can't use. Just the tease. That slot three, for anyone who does not remember, is a promotion-locked slot. So it looks like Rub will be locked behind promotion for that or the Black Mage. Meanwhile, Quadex totally gettable. Absolutely. Uh, that you, I in fact, I would rather take Quadex over Zap. Um, Zap is great in the early game and falls off very quickly mid and is almost useless late game. It's the accuracy just isn't there. True. And we are running with flags that have that Quadex kill set to a much higher damage or uh, 
hit point limit. Ooh, that Sunsword plus five would be fantastic if someone could use it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not a legendary sword, so the Red Mage wouldn't have been able to wield it immediately, and uh, it's fighter armor, not fighter swords on the Black Mage. Flame plus three. This is just... The seed might be kind of poking now. I mean... Now, if you promote and you don't have a, uh, a Vorpal or a Katana, that Sunsword, very serviceable. That's an endgame weapon at plus five. Indeed they do. It does extra damage to mage characters, if I remember correctly, or was that the Rune Sword? Rune remember. Sword. Sun is undead, so... It, ah. It's just another reason that Lich will not live that long. Solario Rex going to check out Earth TFC as Odoron's going to clear up the final loot item. I love when I er, see... Sorry. <laughs> I love when Pasta. I see paste. Was that paste? I thought it was paste. I thought that was pasta. It's pa Either way... Hilarious. That's a that's one of our fun percent flags. You can feed the Titan just about anything. Iker, our tracker says it looked like paste. Well, the Titan will eat it either way. I mean, once the Titan munches on a ruby, it might as well just be paste. At this point, yes. So, we're going to make our way down. Ice Shield plus three. Again, these this is all great equipment. Especially since that is warrior equi or fighter equipment, so that is an Ice Shield equipped black mage. Yes, it is. Very helpful. Putting that light axe to good use. Yep, extra holy damage. Yeah, it's not a white mage using it, but this is a holy damage affected undead. Sure is. So level eight for Solerio. And away we go to go break open the rod plate. At this point, Solerio Rex is going, Where's my canoe? Where's my canoe? Where's my canoe? Probably somewhere in I probably somewhere in the sea. I'm sure he's, I mean, that it's, it's, that, it's that feeling when you get floater and you know you're just one thing away from it. But that one thing is the canoe and it's in, in these flags, it tends to be hiding. It's CeCe's Gambit. You, you know exactly why I say that. Yes, I do. I, I was, uh, I think I rolled that seed, actually. It was quite, uh, quite a thing. Now, I'm going to check what's in... Let's just close it. So far, not spectacular. Eh, heal helmet plus six is not bad. Free healing too. Because right, they don't otherwise have with healing or without healing pots. And ooh, stun! Thank yeah. you, ogres, for being ogres. Annoying. Yep. Now my my thing, well, my major concern at this point would be running into that giant gur imp werewolf pack because we know the werewolves have glance now we do have a ribbon so that will give some protection but we only have one ribbon i do believe odron saw the ooh, tnt that's another dwarf's turn and that's going to put solario in dwarves sooner than later i assume with and the herb going back to help that's two turn and checks immediately. oh and the, key. and the key lich's bedroom has it all earth provides and once again, gonna... Fizzle is vindicated. See, that That is going to be huge, because that's the key. That's several inner sea... In fact, that's all of the inner sea checks available with multiple items in key locks at each of those check locations. So that's going to clear the inner sea almost completely. Yep. That's very, very helpful this early on, so you don't have to come back. The only one I, I'm not sure the runners will take at this point is Marsh Locked, because it is a slog. Through three and Odron especially is not hap would not be happy to have to go back there. Meanwhile, this vampire, uh, very rude. Survived a nuke to the face, uh, a light axe, and then decided that black mage is not going to bother me anymore. Well, that's a ribbon onto the ninja or onto the thief and as, uh, picks up gold and makes through the plate and Solaria Rex pulling up to fight a lich. Now this is this could be interesting because you're two manning it. You got Nuke. Light axe comes out, not bad. What do you think, Nuke? That's almost a full powered Nuke right there. That was a 370. That was a 374. That's that's high. Nuke out again. Goodbye, Lich. 
So let's. I, 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 sorry, I tuned out. What was that? Uh, he found two shards. Ah, okay. <laughs> so with that, Slario Rex is done with the Melmond Continent. Never to return. Uh, it's not a fun place to be. But he has a lot of checks to do. Indeed, we do. No canoe, so there's no quick docking on the outside of the rivers to go to dwarves or go check the castle. But it's not that bad to walk, especially at this point where the runners have a reasonably good understanding of the encounter table. Mm -hmm. can just burn off an encounter and save scum their way through. As uh, Slayerex checks items in shops, gonna get the translation on the slab. Got Quadex. Order on meanwhile, running into those. Now, I don't know if it was the spiders or the arachnids that had blaze, but I know he has the ribbon equipped now, so he should be safe. Well, putting that Thor hammer to good use, given that he has no nuke cast, and that's gonna be a thing. He, he's gonna have to deal with Lich with this. Yes, he and will. Nuke was doing a lot of the damage for Solero Rex in that fight. Solero Rex is going to pick up his Ribbon Plus 5. Be very happy to see it because he didn't have one. Well, so far, Solero Rex has not actually seen all that many things where the Ribbon would have mattered. Odoron getting the short stick of that. And there's a there's tail the out tail. the TNT. That is critical. That makes Early promotion makes all the difference for the potential spell cast you can get. There's your chime. So sky. So Mirage is open. So that's Salario is. He's in item go mode. He needs shards, and he now has access to at least one very shard dense area. Indeed. Not only is that access to a shard dense area, that's access to a shard dense area that is fairly easily routed from that promotion because it's just down into the right to get to the desert dock, which is one of the three northern dock locations enabled along with the on-rack continent dock and the dock at Bahamut's Isle, so that allows promotion without the canoe and the floater. Meanwhile, Odron is running it out. Does not feel like Lich is something safe to take. Would rather risk the long run. I don't disagree with this at all. He's one-manning it. He, the only thing he's got really is the Thor hammer. He's dodgy, but he doesn't know. Like, Glitch could roll with something nasty, nasty, nasty. Meanwhile, Solaria Rex running all the way around to Toe Flocked. Gonna check these three boxes here, see if these are runnable or unrunnable. They are runnable gargoyles. Well, thankfully, because no one likes to face gargoyles. There's your katana. It's a minus one, so it's not great, but not bad. True. But promoted, that's something that he can swing. And as you said earlier, he picked up a lot of really good weapons coming out of Earth that could be used other than that katana. That Sun Sword plus five is still... I, that would be my go-to at this point until the Vorpal makes its appearance. Choosing to run it out. Actually, Solario didn't check the top chest. Went straight for Garland, so didn't know what was up here. Finds nothing special. Nope. There's those werewolves, but they will not live that long. Ooh, Odoron pulling up to a big old pack of gargoyles, but gets away, and he's out. Odoron will have to make his way to the inner sea, to a town that has a hospital to use, but will be able to get his party member back up and go. Yep. But he's going to take a quick pit stop to Titans and Sarda. I think it's the right thing to do at this point. You're here. You might as well do it. I mean, we uh, right, do. it's it's not like he's going to... He doesn't want to come back here. He doesn't want to go back to Earth. He's already cleared it out. Lich is down there. He's not interested. I don't blame him. Yeah, it is paste. It tastes weird. Paste is my favorite too, Titan. When you eat paste, I get very happy. I, the Titan has some issues with his jaw, so he can't eat solid food anymore. So you had to you had to grind it up for him. One way to do it, I suppose. All right, we're gonna pop into Corneria Treasury and see what's there. Well, it's not gonna be the TNT, which is normally here, but hey, it could be a cube or an oxyad. Could be, could be. Got to be a canoe if you're really hoping. Could have been a masa, but unfortunately, no X chest found. Nothing, nothing. 
bit of experience, not horrible to see. I mean, the Saber Plus 5 is kind of the best thing you got out of there, and that's, you know, that's not saying a lot. It is indeed a, an unnecessary weapon to equip at this point. So, uh, promotion time? Yep, might well, be taking the outside, outer sea route to yes. check the, uh, the Elfland dock. Check Elfland and turn in, possibly run back up to Northwest Castle to get those three chests and the check there. Just a slight change in routing so it's faster to get out to the outer sea once you're, well, already outside the map. Absolutely. No, he's going to go right to the promotion, and I don't hate it because then it's a one-stop shop because you can pick up your magic while you're there. Indeed we do. Not having to retrace your routes to Elfland multiple times. Plus, you'll have access to the katana or, and any other weapons you can use, any other gear you can use before you have a chance to go to Northwest Castle. Because it could be... It, it could be Astos. That's right. He shuffled. He's somewhere. So, I mean, but... Bahamut could have been Astos, too. Very, very true. So he's going to go with the Sun Sword, and I don't hate the play. It is it is an endgame weapon. But time to put on some better armor. Power Bonk, Ribbon, Knight. Sadly, you can't have a ribbon underneath your helmet. It's uh, less. It needs to be visible to the enemy to know that you can, are not susceptible to kills and multiple hoorays from Odoron if he leaves dwarves. I like it. I support it. I will always support it. So, Slayer so going to do some item and inventory moving around. Reshuffling. Reconfiguring. Yes. And then we're probably off to Elfland Castle. Because you don't... Or just straight to Mirage. Nope. Going north. You're right. Yep. He's going to turn in his... Uh, he's going to check the locks, turn in the herb, get his magic. Ooh. Kaizuku's are unrunnable. Not that that's a threat, but... Could make the run over to Crescent for going to Mirage, come to think, because there is the store item check, there is the, the sages, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that's, that's totally a solid route from here is to Crescent and then to Mirage Tower. First things first, let's pick up a Temper on our Ninja and Lock, and let's get Ice 3 too, why not? You may not have the charges yet, but once you're promoted, you can still buy the spells. Absolutely, you can. Picking up the pro rings, plus two, solid bit of armor. Very much so, and protection against death. Which I believe not being able to be instantly kill, at least most of the time, is a really good thing to have. Until until you hit that magical number three in two eight in two eighty six or two fifty six. Two fifty six, yes. The magical we... fact that this is an eight bit console. There's too many numbers on screen. I'm trying to do math, and I shouldn't on Twitch because that's it's a lesson. Don't do it. All right, so we've done that. Let's go see what's in Elfland Treasury while Odoran obliterates more Sahags. This could be interesting, because if this is something like the Oxiel or the Canoe, this will be a divergence moment. Not a thing. Nope. Oh, well. Good flame shield, though. Not turning in the herb? Interesting. Okay. Maybe he forgot he had it? Possible. I've done Flame it. shield and an ice shield. That's two good shields that both of his party members can we or can use. Mm -hmm. Odoron, meanwhile, has made it down to the Cardia Isles. Is about to talk with a lonely dragon living in his cave. Well, not so lonely. He has his subordinates, but either way. Solario, meanwhile, My is part. not going to Crescent. He's going down. He's going south. So that means he is headed. I would think for Mirage. Very solid pick. There's ten boxes on the greater and the less than floor. There's like eight boxes or so on the bottom floor of Mirage. It is a chest. So, it is a very, very chest dense. dense. Very chest dense. And you can also check the desert and see if there's anything worth your time here. Very true. A two-man party, a grind could make some really good value. Because the sooner you get up with the black with the ninja, you really want to get six or more hits, and that's where you get levels to do. Mm-hmm. 
Also helps that you promote it early before 15 so you can get your magic charges. Indeed. All right, so Odoron back in the inner sea. Probably going to go uh, life up his dead black wizard. I always wondered, if they get promoted when they're unconscious, do they know? Or they just wake up and like, what happened? I'm different. I mean, that moment you wake out of a coma and you realize that your body or your mind has been transported into a slightly different upgraded body. I mean, it happens. So, let's take a little peek at what we have on First Floor Mirage. We've got some shards, some iron, an annoying cat party, housing, money, housing, money. Another shard. And some money. Not, Not great. Not gonna say no to those shards. I mean, again, the scaling that's normally done by orb count or orb or incentive items uh, is actually handled by shard count with these flags. And the more shards you have, every sh every eight, eight shards you get, you get a boost to your gold and experience. Yes, you do. I haven't really been able to take a look at the shard count from our runners just yet. Fast menuing of uh, some of these runners is just incredible to see. Unfortunately, at the rate at which these runners can menu and the, the limited frame rate at which they can stream, they get to see a little more than we can in those fractions of a second. That is true. Odoron, meanwhile, looks like he's headed to get nuke on his ninja, and I like it. Extra nuke means that Thorhammer kind of becomes a bit obsolete in the future. Fast also helps. Solario, picking up the five Wiz Mummy Mummy Pack gets a huge chunk of experience. Level 14 on his party now. So, it looks to me like he's somewhere in the neighborhood of 11 shards. I think it was 15, just sh or like a one shy of two full rows, but we shall see. We'll try. <laughs> uh, ah, uh, now that's... That's just not fun. Cube. Danny, you left the cube in the mirage. You left the st or the rod in earth. Well, the good news is the Oxyel cannot be inside the sea. No, it'll be for sale in the store in Onrak. <sighs> or in Vulc Or the other alternative would be is that you find the canoe here and it's actually a waterfall. There's that level 15 mark for Slario Rex. Going to start getting casts on that ninja. Ooh, unrunnable blue D. Huh? Meanwhile, Odoran will turn in. That's a Vorpal plus five. That is what he's using. Excellent crit stick. Superior to a katana minus one, in my opinion. Absolutely. But... That, that is, that is the power stick right there. Excellent pickup. I have always been and always will be on Team Vorpal. Gonna take a look at the uh, treasure which we've already looted. I like this from Solario. Gonna run all the way out and get the save down because he's got experience, he's got items. Saves, recharges the magic cast, and then goes right back up and gonna hit up Sky. I can say for a fact that Overrun has seven shards. I was able to count those. So, we know where he is on his shard count. Maybe I massively overestimated. Either way, this is this is a race, and we are seeing substantial differences with uh, Slayer X getting some better luck with encounters earlier on, making much of the difference. Absolutely, but the Great Equalizer has always been Topher. Meanwhile, we're going to vote to get ourselves... Yeah, that dragon, that blue, those blue D's are dodgy dodgy. Indeed they do. They're not as dodgy to my knowledge as the red D's are, but they're thicker and hit just a bit harder. That they do, that they do. But, Solario gets past that and he is now in the sky. Because some cash. My question is, will Solario check the single box at the bottom of Sky 1? It's oh, yeah. the always thinkable, the skippable. Oh, you have to. I've, I've been burned way too many times, I always check it. The ones that I try to avoid are the spider floor. Because it's, it's a lot of time. 
Odron gonna check Northwest Castle. Did get the Vorpal. Gonna get uh. Excal from a vanilla Astos. It's improved Astos, but it's still a vanilla Astos. Yeah. He's buffed, but ooh, he's dodgy. Time for some walks. Whew. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. That that is a rude Astos. Interesting, gonna go back for that Excal. It's not something you can use, but he gets some experience from it. I don't think, I, I don't know if improved Astos actually, and yeah, take the three check S and leave. That, that'd be my move if I were to run. Yep. You don't need the Excal, it's, it, it's not required. Please ignore the stumbling hamster. He does tend to do that sometimes. He'll be back. Well, there's three chest check for Odoron out of Northwest Castle. Mm. Muscleria Rex on the spider floor. He's going to check them. Check these. Makes sense. You need all the charge cannon. Hey, if you're going to find some free eyes in the wild, take the fights, get the experience. Absolutely. You love to see free eyes. Now, in the vanilla game, you don't. You really, really don't. They opened with Quad X, if I remember correctly. They are extremely juicy on the experience. You only ever really find them in one packs unless you're playing the randomizer with B-side tiles. But, uh, yeah, the randomizer makes them serviceable because they're not nearly as probable to have their same normal casts. No, their scripts are usually shuffled to somebody else. Meanwhile, Odoran looks like he's going to check Circle of Sages. Now, would it not be a kick in the pants to have the vanilla canoe? That would be the hope at this point, would be to have the Vanilla Canoe, because that would allow Odron to get some substantial mobility advantage, try and make up the deficit in routing and uh, encounters. But uh, so far, not seeing much of it. I do appreciate the difference in sprites, though. We have Solaria Rex running some uh, duck sprites. Meanwhile, Odron running the Mecha Pack. It is great to start to see some of those great sprite packs That's that uh, many, I believe, um, that... The, the mech ones are a Dark Moon creation, if I'm not mistaken. It would be on the theme. I'm unsure who made the duck ones, but I do like them too. So, we're going to go up and check uh, CC's Gambit. Opal Shield, nah. A lot of money. Eh, that's... It's a gambit for a reason. I mean, it paid. It just paid in unvalued currency. <laughs> well, confused old men time. Where is he? Oh, oh the first check shard and a ribbon. Loose. Six pack right side paying off and with the canoe as well. And the canoe, which means Sky provides. So that's a good look at his shard count right there. Solar X has two full rows. That puts him at twelve. Now at this level, I don't think Solaria is gonna actually go to crack in or go to T. I think just like running out of Earth, it's gonna be a uh, run out of Sky moment. No. Uh, do you think you, you pull T at this point? If I had the Vorpal, I would do it. If I if I was in Odoran shoes and had the Vorpal, I would do it because I have I have fast and I have a power bonk. I would do it. I don't have a ruse stick, and that's a bit of a problem, but that thief is dodgy on on his own. Should be okay. Uh, finding but... some gold, finding a pro cape, not really useful, because, well, there's an ice shield on that black mage, and hey, there's the walking war mech. He's not touching Ain't that. squad. No, he's not, he's not going near that right now. And the fun police, nobody wants to see those show up. Odoron either just cracking off the encounter or, yep, gonna looking, check, and ooh. Looking for that. that is the, yeah, that is the second encounter, though, and you noticed a reasonably long run, but that's still the juiciest overworld experience you can get, and if you can manipulate <laughs> your encounters... Yep. But, unfortunately, it hits like a truck. And Odoron gonna take it. I, I kind of... I understand wishing to see something like a... Uh, a, a sandworm encounter, something a little weaker than the blue stake to take to make up some levels, but, but no, gonna go ahead and go for the blue stake pack. 
Well, you got the miss, so that's pretty good. Four hits for th for a 322 is pretty good on that Vorpal to start. Go with oh, Link. yeah. Swing seven gets the kill. That's a huge chunk of experience. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of shards, but that's still substantial safety before going into Mirage. He knows it's there now. That's the important thing. Very true. That is intel that uh, Solario did not get. Pilgrim burns off that encounter, goes in, get those few shards that will be on this floor. And As Solario at the top of Mirage taking on Tia, or Sky taking on Tia. Going to go ahead and fast up the ninja, swing 60 plus damage. Not That's so horrible. Not great. Fast comes out before mm. the swing, but 7 hits for 44 is not great at all. That uh, sword in hand is not doing nearly what that Vorpal would be doing. So that... Odoron will definitely be happy to have that in its place. And the uh, Quad X trick, Cheeky trying quad to see X. if Tia rolled down. 207 damage isn't a whole lot of damage, but it could be enough. If Tia nope. rolled down, Tia did not roll down. Try it again. Oh, a bad turn order. Oh, well, what do you do? You swing again. Yeah, that Sun Sword not going to do great work against uh, against Tia. Yep, just on our 120. Gonna go put on a temper to try and stack up some more damage. That's Seven better. 472. That crit did a lot of damage, but Tia did a lot too. 44 damage. Her life left, and there's wow. the Phonics missing again. This is the thickest Tia oh. I have seen all tournament. Gonna go with Nuke Strats, you gotta hope at this point. They got him with the final Nuke at 375. That is the uh, moment. If one cooked chicken at the top of the party just meant there's more experience going onto that caster to get more charges available. That is Solario Rex with two orbs lit on and out. Now with the floater in hand and the canoe, gonna head up or down, however he wants to route it, to get into the skies. One great thing about the Tia fight, though, is all those little triangles that you see on the floor are non-encounter tiles. You can walk back and forth there all day, and you're not going to find anything. So he knows when he walks towards the altar, he's okay. He, he won't get killed. It is one of those interesting things you have to remember, especially if you run one of, one of the interesting flags we have in the randomizer, which is the idea of recruitment, where you can have different party members hidden behind different incentive givers or fiends and you can walk up to them say i want you in my party and either place them in a nun slot or replace another party member with them that in tia's room is off those unentire or unencounterable tiles i have seen runners accidentally take the fight that they didn't mean to and lose their run or their dive absolutely Solario, meanwhile, There's has... so many fun things that the, the randomizer can do. We always recommend people check it out. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Solario Rex got caught up in a troll encounter. But he is now at the Ryukon Desert, which actually has no encounters in it. And we're in the air at 4503. Say hello. Probably taking the short hot north to resurrect the party. Good. Meanwhile, Odoron taking on some... Uh... Chimera is on his way out to save with the cube in hand. Meanwhile, Slayer Rex is back in the air, probably heading off to Volcano. Shards are where is, what is needed. Not only shards, but knowing that the Agama floor exists, that's a quick, no off step encounter check for grind. Absolutely. Let's see what we got. Plus the two shards that you can get out of the kill on carry if he chooses to kill carry. Well, at the same time, he's also kind of limited. The only places left for him are going to be uh, Ice, Volcano, and Waterfall. I'm on discounting... the Cardi Isles. True, I'm also discounting Ordeals because it's never Ordeals. Fair enough. Now, Odoron did head out and didn't just save. Odoron is going for that long walk in the desert to get the grind on the blue stakes. Got one fight good, taking the other. Got priority. That is pretty huge. If you can get the fast priority, nope, gotta no, go with lit. lit and go swing. And four hits, two set of 14, not doing a whole lot of damage. Uh, the Vorpa will do its thing. Through, and it looks like that blue stake did not roll extra thick, so I can understand why he would take this tack, this uh, route. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the armory being looted by Slayer Rex gets a few shards, doesn't get anything of note weapons-wise. Um, one thing to note, we are running with the better trap treasure enabled in this flag set, which means certain, char or certain chests on certain floors have a higher probability of having a nice Aww. item. 
there's the Oxail in Volcano. That's access to four shards in in Waterfall, or sorry, in Sea Shrine if Solerio needs it. That is it, though. He's got every item. He doesn't have to worry about anything else. If he needs it, he's got it. Having the ox he find another. Yeah, there is a few things left he could find that he might want. Have we? He's got the roost stick, does he not? Uh, if he doesn't have the roost stick, he has every turn in item True. and can he, check for he, it. He so will get probably it. Probably bottle, turn in, or lefane. We also haven't seen the oval bracelet, which would be a huge upgrade for that black mage. Mm-hmm. True. So let's take a little peek in here, see what we got. We could find the Masa, which would be an interesting sight, because if the Vorpal rolled high, that Masa could still be a better value. Masa has much higher base damage. Very true. If we Pro Ring, another, another shard. Another shard. Odoron finished with the short grind on those blue stakes with a few more levels heading up into sky. Doing some armor shuffling, it seems. Question chat, did anything and... troll yet? Um, early on, we did have some uh, annoying uh, spiders with blaze that uh, Odoran ran into. Yep, as well as some stony little uh, werewolves. That was what it was. It was werewolves with stone. All right, so Solerio has made his way to the Agama floor, and the Agama tiles are right in front of him. Time to heal up. Healing up, and going to take the grind you only can assume. With a good number of shards, this will give a bit of value swing and quad x the quad x should yeah. always hit these agamas they almost never roll up high enough to make the quad x that we've got now ineffective this is very true and i believe that if i checked salarios correctly he was one off of the final line so he will be three shards short if he kills carry sub 500 life agama but just 400 ish can fight the red d it's a little dodgier than the blue d not anymore but it does go down to a quad x so job done there there's the other katana i'm sure he's not interested at all does not have the vorpal that odron has could definitely pick that up oh with he... the floater It'd be a quick check into or into uh see what the Elves have, but uh, Solerio going down to Vice Carry as Odoron begins the cleanup of Sky One. Or continues. It appears that our tracker has confirmed 23 is the number. So he will be three shards short, which probably means trip to Cardia. Not the most chest dense area, but relatively quick to check for the chests that are there and. Fire 2, very thematic for Carrie, but Carrie about to get Quad X. Does it hit? It hits, and there you go. That's three orbs lit for Solario. Two more shards acquired. Indeed, indeed. The thing about go, and the other thing is that Cardi, at least you're close to Onrak if you really needed to go there. Indeed, it's also just barely northwest of the Toph if you yep. need to go there as well. And Solario going to check Elves, going to get that Vorpole, going to almost certainly swap it on in place of the Sun Sword. Oh, yeah. Yeah, drop. Can't hold. Make room. Make room. Yeah, throw something away. You don't need it. You need that Vorpole. Mm. War it warms my heart, Fabian, to see the, the great sword that is the Vorpole getting so much love. Really does. Meanwhile, on to Cardia. Saving before leaving the airship, just so you can reset back out and get in the air. Gets one of the shards needed, just needs two more at this point. Yep. That's money. Gets a cabin. Copper. That's yeah, soft. No. Oh well, we got one. If you get one from Definitely the other. Not... If you get one from the other two islands. You're done. Yeah, 
Gonna check the marsh. That is the smallest quantity. Only three chests in Cardia Marsh. It's the longest run to get to those three chests, unfortunately. But hey, if two of these are shards, that's go mode. One more check. Flame armor, that's actually huge. And gold, gold bracelets, a solid Ooh. upgrade. I, I would, yeah, those are both great things to find. It's not shards, but it's good. Leaving the gold behind. Interesting choice, but he doesn't he have ice armor on? Or... He, he does, he does. He's been uh, rocking fighter armor on that black mage for a while now. Now right, we got. Where's well, one? He needs one more, and he's done. There it is. He's got full shard count. Time to head to Topher. Yep, final box check for good measure. Not going to have two ribbons, only going to have the one, but only one might be necessary. Uh, getting the levels, you can definitely do a bit of a walking grind in Topher at this point. But there you go, Solario Rex, just shy of 53 minutes, checking up, saving up, and going in. And getting the bat in the way. And at 52.57, he is into Topher. Meanwhile, Odoran picking up his other ribbon, grabbing uh, his canoe. I'm sure he's happy to see it, but he's got to be thinking in the back of his mind. What's, uh, what's going on on my opponent's side? Yeah, you see that GG in chat, the Zeus Bonk as well. Uh, Magius, you know, this is so, so far from over. Oh, no, Topher is a great equalizer. We will certainly, uh, all take, especially with the two party members with no healing magic whatsoever. Guess you have the ribbons, Could but do you have any, like, there's no white shirt. And if Solero doesn't have the ruse, he's relying on pure thief agility. Yep, definitely not going with wood armor set, so no extra evasion there. Uh, does not have a good number of members with casting abilities to deal with a lot of unrunnables as well, because we have higher than normal unrunnables enabled, and they can show up in the toe flock we've seen many times that some seafood party packs end up unrunnable and it just gets bad i can deal with the i can deal with the long john silvers number five the one that i can't deal with is the waters a big pack of waters because oh they just hurt our tracker is saying that the roo stick and the opal gauntlet look like they're behind slab and bottle which would make sense i think we've seen everything else the opal bracelet would be a solid piece of armor for sure. Could shift around armor on the black mage. But uh, at this point, the defensive gear is not the hindrance. It's the lack of evasion and the lack of sheer party members and life spell and magic casting. Healing and, mag and life spells, not available for either of these runners. Lich, meanwhile, standing tall. So far. It's five, two rounds. Here comes round three. Oh, Lich, that's cute. You think you can punch. Here's a sword. Goodbye, Lich. So... It may not be a bludgeoning weapon, but the sword is extra cut, so... Or sharp, so it can cut through anyways. True enough. Odoran, meanwhile, pulling up to... Tia number one. Swinging that Vorpal. That's doing Vorpal things. There oh, are yeah. a lot of heads on that dragon to cut off. Well... I think we will... Oh, he's... No, he's... Uh, a lot of nuke charges, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think T has pretty much bit the big one. Yep, gone. Meanwhile, Solario Rex's Black Mage going very low against some double red ma or red dragons on Carrie's floor. Fully heals up. Going to continue on with the move. Not really taking much in the way of a walking grind at this point. Pulls Carrie 2. Gets the swing off before the fast. Five hits for just under 200. Fast comes off, carry hits for 76. Eh. Not that much damage. Gonna nope. go with temper. Go with the swing. That's a bit of a bigger hit, though. Yeah, you do not want to see your car your secondary caster go. You don't have that many charges. Oh, with that ninja. there it is. There it is. That is one cooked chicken. And that black wizard is down for the count. Man mode going into Kraken floor. This is a very risky dive at there's, this point. And there's those but waters. There's no way Solario is not going to keep going. No. Meanwhile, Odoran taking a few extra levels. Our tracker uh, has confirmed that the levels are comparable. So, 
I believe they are very close to one, about 26. Ooh, that's the one thing you do not want to see, a large pack of waters. He got the run, though. But... Waters, if you've ever been in about a foot deep flow of water, you know just how dangerous that can be, but those Ooh. waters, way more power. Oh, dear, that is a weight command on an unrunnable pack. That is, uh, that's muscle memory. And he's got... Questioning, few ice, three casts, gonna have to use those. Probably still has the Thor hammer equipped, but that's still not that much damage. Lit two to be used. But at the same time, he has... There's a, there is a substantial lead that Odoron needs to make up now. He is at 50... He found a nice pack right before he hit the deserts. This is not. This is very unpleasant for Solario Rex. Very unpleasant. That Thor hammer is extra effective against sea life, so it did get a crit, or a crit damage. But to two Gur sharks, they bite really hard, and only 109 hit points left. Goes Ooh. for the swing, gets the kill on that. Goes for another swing, gonna get the kill. He got... 109 back up and healing. <laughs> so we're at 63 heal pots. Probably end up with about 50 some when we're left. 52 left. There's the opal. Odoron has found it. And hello, Kraken 2. Temper up. No ruse stick, no defense sword. Gonna have to go with native evasion. Go with the saber and the swing. Four hits for oh. 344. Kraken, Kraken hits back. Going for another hit. Two hits for 238. Ink not landing. That is huge. Uh, 376. Ink again, still not landing. Bane, Bane not landing. no effect. The root, or the ribbon, and the... Ooh! Ring, or, ooh, nuke. That's harsh. That's half the life or more down. But, but there's the kill. Four hits, 515. He's through. He is through by the skin of his teeth. Once again, heal pot's just being chugged. He's down to 41 left. Should be good, assuming he can get past. Good old Tia, too. We're gonna... Take a hit, 27 damage. Saber comes out. We're gonna s temper. Tia hits again. That's a bit of a bigger smack. We're starting the and we're gonna start. 76 damage from Tia. The Vorpal gonna swing in again for two uh, for two three two. Smack comes back and there. Silorex is booted out of Topher. Player Rex getting back in the airship, checking the pot stats, thinking, is it worth going back in and doing a grind? Gonna leave. Where Slayer Rex chooses to go, probably gonna try and pick up that Ruse stick from the checks. Gonna find the Opal, gonna go down to Lafane, which will have to be the Ruse stick at this point from process elimination. Yes, yes. Meanwhile, Odoran picking up some more shards, probably trying to get the, the easy ones out of the way as quickly as possible. Odoron will not be in gun mode at this point because Odoron has not killed as many fiends, even though he's just checked the same chest. Where Odoron goes from here, I cannot say. Volcano would be my guess. Very circuitous route to it. Volcano or ice. And Volcano? No. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> volcano it volcano is. Volcano it is. Yeah, it's more, more chests easy to get to. Meanwhile... Mario has not checked this. Gonna find it as the x, -Cal x -Cal. and just leave... Which means by his own process of elimination, he knows where it is. Can only be in one place, unfortunately. Odoron, me. Odoron actually gonna check the hairpin chest that uh, Slario Rex faded. Could find a few more shards up here. There is a potential. And finds a Masa chest. There's, is, uh... there's the Xbox. I was wondering where that was. I thought it'd be at it. this point. I would take it. Odoron's faced a few of the blue stakes, got some levels. It's very quick to get back down here, and that's a huge chunk of experience. He's I going that direction. Expect Odoron to take it. No, he goes. That... I am wrong. Wow, he did well. He knows where it is, though. That's information that he has that Solario Rex does not have because he faded that entire thing. There's your rustic right there. He wants that badly. Well, goodbye, Sun Sword. You were good where we needed you. Yeah? There's that oxyale for Odoron out of that top hairpin chest. Mm-hmm. We might see some sea action, but uh, really just comes down to when the shards land where they land. Well, 
When he goes back in for a pause, we'll see if we can get a count. Because there was quite a few in uh, around this, uh, this pack here. I don't think it's enough to put him into go mode. Most definitely not, because I would run full cleared Volcano and still was still a few shards short. Picked those up in the Cardi Isles, which Odron has already been to, but... But Odron did not take on Lich, so he's two shards minus that. Indeed. Alright, so, yeah. Slurio's coming back for round two. Yep, Solario did get the Power Gauntlet. That was off of the Adamant turn-in. Actually, was it the Crystal or the Adamant? Either way, they got the uh, the uh, Power Gauntlet earlier. The Roostic was the last outstanding item that we had not seen. Yes, it was. And the good news about Volcano is it is, generally speaking, relatively fast. Those Lava Tiles may hurt, but they are completely unencounterable, so you can avoid most encounters basically half or more of the of the steps you can take are volcano lava tiles. Okay, so Odoran is in the exact same position that Solario was when he came down here. The difference is, is that Odoran did already go to Cardia. So he will be three shards short if he gets every single chest. Meanwhile, Solario wrecks him back in the past on the way to the earth floor. Finds an unreliable set of chimeras. Now, one thing I noticed that Silio did not do, he did not go back and pick up magic for his ninja. He did also not do any sort of leveling up, basing the need for that ruse stick as the only thing needed to push him over the top. Is that going to work out? Is it not going to work out? We are yet to see. But, I mean, it's... it's it's Topher. It it's is. the great equalizer. It, oh, it always is. Now, I know Odorin has gone back and picked up both Fast and Nuke for his ninjas. So, when he gets in there, he will have a much easier time. At least more options to go with, especially if man mode trips on him as well. Well, we have already seen one nuclear. And we saw Tia is just... Very punch-heavy. Interesting. Odoron actually decided to run away from the Agma. Didn't even bother taking that fight. Nope. Won't bother with... Eh, he's gonna take this one. That Vorp will do him work. Meanwhile... Lich again, hanging around for a few rounds. Very rare for him to do that. Yeah, answering some nuke with fire too, not comparable magic to swing back with, but hey, that's no. all that matters is Solario Rex getting through Lich and on into Carrie's floor for the second time. Meanwhile, on Carrie's floor in <laughs> Volcano, Odoron taking some bowls. Yep. Do some quick healing. That extra vitality on the Thief doing some work, even at reasonably low levels, like mid-levels, over 500 hit points is is suited, or close to 500. Very much so. Uh, Vorpal doing Vorpal things. But with a fast out, and a temper to come. Oh, no, oh, nuke. Ah, never mind, the Black Mage fell asleep. Typical Black Mage, fall asleep in the volcano. Lit 2 doing tickle damage, meanwhile another swing, that's 10 hits, 542, that is... Or Tia down just as Solarix takes on Tia 2. Lit 2 out of carry. Roostick coming up. Gonna make evasion good fast on that. Odoran deck. is going back. There's only one reason he, he would approved. do that. There's only one reason. Huge experience. Huge experience and intel. He's going for the Maza chest. I approve this. Chat, you're about to see a Warmech. And he's actually full shard. He's good to go. Plus? Nope. Yeah. He's gonna... Nope. He realizes now he's got his shards. He's going. Full shards. Doesn't care about a Masa plus one. He has the Vorpal plus five. We will be sure to ask him about that. Meanwhile, it looks like Solario made it through carry with a uh, living Black Wizard. This is a definite improvement over his circumstances on his previous dive, but still having to deal with this Wizahag Gershark pack. 
The Lit 3 doing more damage than the Lit 2 off the Thor Hammer did, and turning that swing in take care of those sharks sooner than later. Oh, what are we going to check our validation chests? They're crap. Has a stack of A4 potions, which is uh, very th interesting to see because one of the flags that the randomizer introduced is multiple po or potions per pack. So you find a heal pot, it could actually be three or four or more heal pots. And if you have less than maximum heal pots in your inventory, pick up multiple heal pots from one of those chests, it overflows into an 8 bit value. It sure does. And you get A some number. Question chat, why only two characters? The runners agreed to this. They agreed to one random melee and uh, one caster. So this was a gentle this was a gentleman's agreement between the two of them. Meanwhile, Kraken 2 again, who's very confused, because um where's the white mage? I'm supposed to punch a white mage. So far. He's dead utilizing electric shock powers. Bane coming out yet again. Still yeah. no insta kill coming out. Six at 600, Quad X coming out, does that That's... land? There you go, Kraken has been Quad X'd away. Meanwhile, Odoran is pulling up to Lich 2. So, he is two fiends behind. I don't count Lich as a fiend at this point. So, Speed Bump Mark 2, S Bump 2 as we know him in the community. Four Odoran about to take the kill. There goes as Solaria Rex picks up Car or Tia Ooh. 2. Tia 2 hitting hard. Three hits for over 150 damage, it looked like. Fast coming out. Power Bonk going with. Uh, no, no, I'm not going Quadic yep. Strats this early. Gonna go Heal Pots. Missed that swing from Tia. Power Bonk comes back out again. Gonna go with the Roost Stick instead of the Power Bonk. Really wants to be survival because it looks like Tia is punch happy. Very much. All so. those heads swinging them hard to hit. Trying the stun. No. An interesting strat when it lands. 130 damage on the Black Mage. Ooh. Or Black Wizard. There you go. There's, There's a cooked chicken yet again. Yep, down it goes. That Vorpal doing work, though. Getting 600 plus, getting 500 plus. The evasion from the Roostic stacking. 278, not the highest hit by any means. 7 hits, 504. Wow, this, this is a thick Tia yet again. Going with another swing. There Five we go. 329, and that is all four of the refight fiends done. Solaria Rex in man mode yet again, but this time on to Chaos. Meanwhile, Odoran has made up some time, is now at Kraken. Gonna power up, gonna fast up. Kraken says, no, you're not. Meanwhile, here we go with our first pull of Chaos. What well, might he have? Chaos does stop. No, it's not going to do anything. Ruse comes out. We're going to Ruse. Chaos says, stop. Again, no. Fire two. Okay, yeah. Saber comes out. Power comes out. Lit two. Power again. Lit two again. Okay, Chaos. You get swing. No, nope. miss. Oh, and Odoron gets booted out with Kraken, too. And we're starting to swing. Our swing comes in. Three hits for 399. The two comes out again. Swing again. Three hits for 670. Swing again. Fire three from Chaos. Chip damage. Swing again. Four hits for 650. Swing again. Three hits. For... No. Chaos still standing. But not doing much. Ink comes out. That's not going to work. Swing again. Four hits for 549. Stop comes out again. Have we gone around the whole script? And there it is. Get your GGs out in chat for Solario Rex with an official race time. Dot GG of one hour, ten minutes, and seven seconds. And we are joined in the booth by Larry Rex, Larry Rex GG. Woo! Thank you. Well, that was an interesting run through Topher. Yeah, you can uh, you can say that again. I did not expect, honestly, that unrunnable pack of the the Gur Sharks and the Se the Wizahags. That's the part that actually threw me the most, because they were just so tanky, they were not going down, and I don't know, the unrunnables in Topher always get me frustrated. The unrunnables in Topher are always very, uh, very, very nasty. Uh, so I, the first question that pops into my head, 
you guys agreed to uh, a forced um, melee. So you get the yep. thief. But your caster was a choice, was it not? No, it was uh, well, they did... forced melee, forced mage. Ah, so you did get it, it forced. Either... We was we were wondering was... why. Because yep. the red mage would have been a lot nicer for you. Oh yeah, why is that? Uh, plus exit, plus legendary swords. Oh damn, that would have been fun. Yeah, uh, the black belt rolled in with tell magic and equip shirt. Um, and your fighter uh, came with elemental magic and some extra agility. But yeah, that red mage would have been very helpful for... A lot of the early seed, but uh, it sounds like we got the worst of the three in both categories. <laughs> no, the white mage would definitely have been the worst, realistically. Yes, I... we've been able to see what their magic is, and um, Fade was at level five along with Life two. Life was at level six along with Cure four. Harm four was at level eight. Yeah, they so. Were All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the only I mean, even the black butt would have been useful because it had tell magic. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, kind of a little disappointment that uh, Shuffled Astos ended up at Astos, but it does happen. Well, we didn't uh, we didn't have the Shuffled flag on. We just had the buffed flag on. Ah, I guess that was changed. I remember the race room that was listed as turn Shuffle on and unsafe. We, yeah, we were, we, were, we were debating whether or not to turn the Shuffle on, and we just went with buffed. Well, he was a, he was dodgy. Um, oh yeah, did did Odron take the take he, the Astos fight? He did attempt. Twice. He he attempted it twice to take it, which it had an X cow, so wasn't going to help you, and it certainly wasn't going to help him either. Yeah, I know. I I popped in. I had full inventory, so I was like, all right, whatever it is, I'll know what it is. So when I was ruse stick hunting, yes. So saw so it was the X cow reset out of that right away. So, as as a massive fan of this item, uh, Vorpal plus five, doing some work. I mean, I was just glad there was a sword. After that, <laughs> uh, let's see, the, I think the first katana was in Keylock's uh, Temple of Fiends. Yep. And pulling that out minus one, I was like, oh no. Now you, oh no. <laughs> it, it, now, you did have that sun sword plus five. That so was a good backup weapon, but again, it's not going to do as much work. Yeah, I mean, plus five, I think the crit on a sun sword plus five, I think the crit is still only like 20, it's, plus 20, or yeah, plus 19 or something. It's abysmal. Like, it's, the sun sword doesn't crit. No, it doesn't. It's 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 not good. We but. did get a look by Odron finding the Masa chest. It was a Masa plus one. It was actually the top right chest in Volcano Armory that you just faded along with the hairpin. Oh, I, that's why I, I mean, that's why I faded it, because I saw it. I saw it was the X chest, and I was already, I felt behind the whole time, because I made a few early, like, a few early mistakes, cost me, you know, 10 seconds here, 30 seconds here, so I was feeling behind the whole time, so I was in, like, all right, let's just, let's just go. So I saw it was the, I saw it was the Masa Warmack chest, and was like, nope, and then Hairpin is something that I fade with some regularity, so... I was like, all right, if it's there, I, I, if there's a, you know, if my last shard is in there, then I, I give up, I guess. But <laughs> Well, I think the big difference is Odoran ran into a couple of really nasty encounters that you didn't see. He found that the, uh, I believe it was the spiders had blaze. Um, and the um, glance werewolves. Took him I out. Did see I did see glance once or twice, but uh, I did manage to not get glanced, so that was that was lucky. Unfortunately, uh, Odoran did not. He uh, he ended up uh, taking a couple of hard wipes out of Marsh, and that's that kind of was the difference maker at this. You guys were pretty much lockstep in what you were up to. The only big difference is Odoran went and got his four pull faster. But Odoran pulling up to our old speed bump friend again. Um, hey, Lich, Lich was tanky this time around. Lich actually I, was. I was. I was shocked that the Vorpal plus five was swinging for, you know, whatever I was at. I was it swing. It was swinging for like only a hundred or two hundred, and I was like, damn, 
Why is he so tanky? Especially after, uh, that's why I cast fast right away on the second time through. Absolutely a good idea, because he, uh, he didn't roll as much of a pushover as he normally does. Meanwhile, carry two, who Sad. gave you a very rude awakening for that poor black mage. I mean, <laughs> he knocked him into the next dimension, and that's all right. <laughs> but the confused Kraken was fun because they didn't know what to do because there's no white mage to hit. Probably the biggest difference just now for Odoron is the blue stakes that he'd been taking periodically in the desert. Uh, definitely buffing up that ninja's 615 hit points. I think it was level 29 or high, something even 30 even. Very, very high up there. Well, we were joking in the race room beforehand. I thought maybe we were going to have a... We were... Uh... We were gonna have a seed where you were ending up at like level four. You had to go to level 40 with the thief to make it through. Oh, we're not gonna have one of those again. Those are once per tournament. <laughs> but we, we, we have had them. Don't say things like that. You don't, don't put that out in the universe. You don't know what you're doing. I'm out of the tournament. I'm fine to sit back and watch the tournament. Meanwhile, Kraken, once again, saying, hello, Black Mage, goodbye, Black Mage, and goodbye, Kraken. Odoron punches his ticket to go see... Did Odoron pick up Quad X? Uh, yes. yes, he did. He actually, I think he picked up everything on his ninja. He's got fast. So, he's gonna fast up. We're gonna power up. T is gonna swing. T is very swing heavy. Oh. Ooh, that's a good hit. That's a very good hit. Vorpal is definitely putting in its work. Goodbye, Tia 2. And away we go. Level f He's at level 40 now, so you got your wish. Oh my goodness. He does have... Mm, I definitely... I lamented not having fast on the thief or on the ninja. I didn't end up going back for it, and... I mean... Yeah, you st you, out, I guess. You still push it through. Chat pointing out that that was a nice RNG loop. Yes, it was. You gotta love seeing them. It wasn't an Oslado though. Nobody wants we to like see... We like seeing the normal loops. Yeah, nobody wants to see an Oslado Paradox. There's a reason it exists, and there's a reason that it's funny. I'm not sitting here for eight minutes doing a chaos fight. We love you for doing it. <laughs> well... What else am I supposed to do? Anyways, Chaos swings and takes Odoron out, and I believe that is going to be our forfeit from Odoron. But, you know what? That's that's a tough flag set to run, and that was a, uh, was a bit of a tough, uh, tough tofer. See if we can get a run in the chat if he's up for the interview. Indeed. Meanwhile, uh, I do believe we have determined that your next challenger will be Spell Zap. What, what do you think of that, Solario? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've raced Spell Zap before, and he is an excellent runner. Um, I would definitely, I mean, he's a previous champion, I believe, right? Yeah, he's Absolutely. got the champion yep. thing. Yep. And, I mean, he knows, you know, the meaning of speed when it comes to this, when it comes to this game. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to it because this is, it's, it's fun to race against the fastest. So, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And, you know, like I said, we've raced, I think it was like the, not the last winter tournament, whatever, the 20... 22 2021 winter tournament i don't know we've raced before so i'm looking forward to racing again should be a good time hopefully we can put on a show well i can oh. tell you um because he spells up a course ran earlier today and i was part of that race he did sub hour his race so yes he he put on a classic uh, speed and power uh display i will say that much and we've got a GG Odoron in chat chiming in saying he is tired and headed off bed. We totally get that. That's GG's and have a good night, Odoron. Absolutely, Odoron. That was uh, that's a good run. Um, sad to see you out of the tournament. Um, I'm, you know, it's it, it's been uh, it's been a pleasure having people get you confused with me. 
But, so, this has been a fun seed. I will just go over one final thing because it's always fun to do this. Um, the reason that Tiamat was so swingy and punchy, Tiamat didn't have anything. No magic, no abilities. So, that's the reason why you ended up with a punchy, punchy Tia. If anyone is still curious, uh, Lich 2 was the one you really wanted to avoid. Rolled up with Nuke, Nuclear, Thunder, Crack, Poison, Zap, and Quad X. Warmech had our... Late in the script. Warmech uh, opened with Nuclear or Cure 4. And also had a, a nuke, had two nukes, a nuclear and inferno, blizzard, nuclear, quad X stun and cure four. So that good, good call. Glad you faded it. Yep, good call to not I don't take. Think I was getting through that. No, um, carry had pretty much next to nothing. Uh, Kraken did have a nuclear, but never seemed to show it. Go figure. It popped. I think the first. The first, my first dive, I think I saw nuclear. I believe, yes, you believe you did. But, Solario, uh, that was uh, that was a great race. Um, Davian, anything else you'd like to ask? Honestly, I think you covered most of it. Uh, you can get in the chime in as to what they did or did not see, which is always a nice thing to have. Yeah, you gotta love, you gotta love letting the runners know exactly what you. How unlucky or lucky you you may or may not have gotten. But seeing as how we're getting into the wee hours of the early morning, I am going to pass it over to our winner on stream, Solario Rex, for his final thoughts. Well, of course, thanks team, thanks Fabian, thanks uh, Oslato, thanks you, thank you to uh, Restreamer Tracker, um, doing all the doing all the hard work for us, uh, getting the race up. It's been a good tournament, and you know, appreciate all the hard work. Uh, GG's Odron. Thanks, man. I'm looking forward to racing racing you more in the future. So, it'll be awesome. Um, other than that, looking forward to uh, racing Spells app here in the near future. That's, that's going to be a fantastic run. I cannot wait to see it and hopefully be a part of it. Over to my co-coms, Davian Hawk. Final thoughts. Always glad to, or glad to work with you. Thank you for doing both this and the race earlier today, Herozlato. Uh, thank you, Ikra, for jumping in on the tracking duties. Definitely doing a great job and make sure we know what was what. Having a tracker dedicated to this is, is one of the greatest things. We love that. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Solario Rex. Uh, thank you, the now going to sleep Odoron for the race. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing you guys race later on in later events. There are many to come. Indeed, indeed there is. I'm going to let everybody know that we have one race on the schedule for tomorrow night. It is Luffy versus Pickles and Beer, 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, boy. They have some interesting flags already set. They have a four forced with nuns and no black belt and some other surprises for you guys coming up. But they're, having, they're not sharing right now, but it is coming. I will say, everybody out there. If you like what you see, if you're interested in maybe trying it out, head on over to FinalFantasyRandomizer.com. There you will find, hey, the randomizer itself. You also find a link to the wiki, which has a whole bunch of great information. You will also find the link to the Discord. Sign up, join up, try some practice races, have some fun. And if you're brand, brand new, I got great news. At the end of the winter tournament, coming at the end of March, we start our duckling boot camp. That's right, for all you new players, all you people who want to get good, you want to learn how to do this, you want to get the strategies down, our two duckling dongs will take you through all the strategies and all the basics. You will learn from two of the best. And once the duckling boot camp is done, oh boy, it's time for the duckling derby, your own very special novice and amateur tournament where you and all your fellow ducklings will race to see who gets crowned 2024's duckling supreme as a recent graduate of the program myself i can tell you it will give you the skills you need to run this game well however i will say to both of our runners to odoron and to slayer rex to my fellow co-coms in the booth david hump and iker for doing our tracking and keeping us honest to rpg limit break i would say thank 
thank you to every single one of you for keeping us on task, on point. I, of course, am Moslodo, and I will see you in the next round.